welcome students myself ahirrao ve from department of instrumentation and control engineering maratha vidya prasarak samajas karmavir advocate baburao ganpatrao thakre college of engineering nasik welcome students in this video we are going to learn one of the application of the pll ic the objective will be to learn the frequency multiplication using phase lock loop outcome the students will be able to design a frequency multiplier using the digital pll ic cd 4046b let's go for a quick review of the pll fundamentals as per the name phase lock loop so it is a loop and it will get locked whenever the phase of the input as well as the phase of the feedback signal will be the same one a pll obviously consist of three main circuits the first is the phase detector or phase discriminator the second is a low pass filter and the third circuit which is connected in the feedback path from output to input is the voltage controlled oscillator that is vco the phase detector will continuously compare the phase of the input signal having the voltage vi and frequency fi with the phase of the feedback signal which is actually the output of voltage controlled oscillator having the voltage v oscillator and f oscillator that is the frequency and depending upon the phase difference it is going to generate a error voltage that error voltage after passing through a low pass filter it will get fed to the voltage controlled oscillator depending upon the magnitude of error voltage vco will adjust its frequency that is f oscillator so that the error in the phase will get minimized and at one step or at one condition it will be equal and when that condition will be met or satisfied the loop will get locked now we will learn a simple concept of frequency multiplier and for this one we are going to use a digital pll ic cd 4046 actually as per the name frequency multiplier the requirement will be the output frequency of the circuit will be n times the input frequency that is f out is equal to n into f in if you will look to the same loop as earlier we have taken a revision of the pll so here only one change is there that is while feeding the output of voltage controlled oscillator to the phase detector a divide by n block will be added and this will result into the frequency multiplier here 
f i will be the input frequency f out will be the output frequency f oscillator that is the originally generated frequency by the vco depending upon the error voltage and that error voltage is proportional to the phase difference between the input and the f comparator that is the second input to the phase detector in this way with this simple addition that is a divide by n network we can have the design of the frequency multiplier next we will learn by taking a simple example how we can be able to design the frequency multiplier by taking a particular multiplication factor so let's assume that the multiplication factor is equal to 10 so my equation for design or requirement will be f out is equal to 10 into f in for this one we are going to use the second phase comparator from the ic cd4046b according to the design criteria when we have been given f max here f max will be the maximum desired output frequency that is f out so for example when my maximum input frequency is 100 hertz i should get the f out is equal to 10 into 100 hertz that is 1000 hertz so in the design f max will become here 1000 hertz then by having the value of f max we have to calculate the center frequency fo from the equation fo is equal to f max by 2 and then we have to use this center frequency with the characteristics of the typical center frequency versus the value of the capacitor c2 c2 is the vco timing capacitor and that characteristic will be for the various values of the vco register that is r3 and the set of characteristics plotted by the manufacturer it is for the three different values of the vco register that is r3 and it is for 10 kilo ohms 100 kilo ohms and 1 mega ohm so if you will use this characteristics from this one and by knowing the value of the center frequency we can be able to determine the value of c2 that is the vco timing capacitor for a particular chosen value of the timing register r3 so this is the set of characteristics it is plotted in center frequency that is f4 versus the timing capacitor c2 which is in microfarad now the ic cd4046 can be operated on the three different voltages in terms of the voltage ratings and those are 5 volt 10 volt and 15 volt so accordingly the manufacturer have provided the three sets of characteristics consisting of three curves plotted each for a particular value of 
the VCO register and the variation will be in the supply voltages. So once you know the center frequency, what we have learned previously, then you can assume, for example, if you are operating your IC CD4046 on 5 volt and if you have selected to use R3 is equal to 10K, then you have to just select that particular curve and then with the help of the value of center frequency, if you will just have the perpendicular on the X axis that will provide you the value of or the approximate value of the VCO timing capacitor C2. Now coming to the circuit design, earlier we have assumed that N is equal to 10. So that block we have to connect between the output of the voltage controlled oscillator that is VCO and the input of the phase detector. We might have learned one of the IC which is 7490. It is a decayed counter IC and as per our example, we can use it as a divide by 10 network. First of all, we will discuss about the second IC which is 7490 working as a decayed counter. Actually, inside the IC, there are two separate counters which are divided by 2 and divided by 5. But those are connected in such a way that the total IC will divide the input frequency by a factor of 10 and that will be available at pin number 11. Pin number 14 of IC2 will be the input pin and on the same junction you are going to get the output frequency which is a multiplied by 10 to the input frequency. Then IC1 is the CD4046 that is a PLL IC. The register R3 and capacitor C2 are the VCO timing register and capacitor. Then R2 and C1 will provide a low pass filter that is a simple RC filter which needs to be externally connected. Then register R1 is selected particularly to a high value to provide the stability to the loop and if you will make the connections as shown in this circuit diagram then for the design range that is F out is equal to 10 times F in this circuit will provide you the frequency multiplication. Thus, by using the certain values of the components which are mentioned in the component list as R1 is equal to 100K, R2 to be of 10K, R3 6.8K, the capacitor C1 for a low pass filter 1 microfarad, VCO timing capacitor 0 0.01 microfarad. We can be able to design in a very simple way the frequency multiplier. For the design, you may refer the data sheet from the Texas Instruments for the IC CD4046B. Thank you.